Welcome students and today we are going to start with the MongoDB which is a NoSQL DB. I know that we were supposed to start with uh, Django but MongoDB got skipped from my mind and then I realized that we have not taken uh, MongoDB. So today we are going to start with a MongoDB which is NoSQL database. Now what exactly is a NoSQL database and how to work with it that we are going to see in my upcoming classes. Today, I'm going to show you the entire installation process about the MongoDB, how to install MongoDB. So there are certain steps that you need to follow. Okay, so let us switch to the browser. And uh, once you switch to the browser, you have to just type that is MongoDB space download. And uh, once you press enter, you're going to have some links. You're supposed to click on the link that says MongoDB community download because that's the community version which is absolutely free of cost. MongoDB is a cross-platform database and it is absolutely free, the community version. So please click on the community download and once you click on to that, such a page will appear in front of you and at the right hand side, we have certain options that is the version. So I would suggest to go for the current version. The platform is Windows and the package is the MSI, the MSI package. OK, so you really do not need to change anything into this. And I would suggest to go for the latest platform that is the Windows 10. If you do not have Windows 10, then there might be certain issues Okay, while installing. So it is a must that you should have Windows 10 because the previous versions now Microsoft is not really providing any support as such. So Windows 10 is what you require and go for the latest version and click on download. The moment you click on download, uh, such a page is going to appear in front of you. Do not uh, enter anything. No need to give any details. It is just optional and a message will come in front of you that thank you for downloading mongodb community server your download will begin shortly which it will do and at the bottom you will find the file getting downloaded so that's the msi file so i have already downloaded the msi file so i will go to the to the folder that's the downloads folder and over here you can see the mongodb that's the setup file just give a double click and the setup will start okay so this is the setup file and that's the welcome message okay so what you need to do is click on next and then there is a license agreement which every software has just a ticket and click on next and then there are two options that is complete or custom we are going to go for complete which is going to install all the features of mongodb so simply click on complete and then do not do anything out here we are going to install mongodb as a server okay that's perfect and uh, that's the folder that your mongodb is going to get installed now that's the root directory i mean the directory in which your mongodb is going to get installed and that's the log files okay that's the location now if you really want you can change this location of the log files if you have some storage issues otherwise you can keep it as it is okay i'm going to keep it as it is and click on next and then it says okay install mongodb uh, compass i am not really going to go for all this this is a gui uh, interface for mongodb but we will not really go for this just untick this because we are going to work with the shell mode okay so then click on next and uh, finally it will say to install and then your mongodb will get installed so it will take few moments. So let us wait for a few moments till the time it gets installed. So till that time, okay, let's talk about MongoDB. It is a NoSQL DB. 
basically it means that we will not have any particular structure of our database just like we have in our mysql where we have a database and then the tables and the tables have fields but over here there is no such thing okay so in my upcoming classes I, we are going to understand that now this installation is complete so i will click on finish now and now that's done now what's the next step the next step is we need to go to the location where our mongodb was installed so let me just go to that location so that was c colon then the program files under the program files i have that's the mongodb double click on to that and then there is a folder called a server then there is a version 4.4 that's the folder double click on to that and then there is a bin folder normally every software there is a bin folder and you have all the executables under the bin folder so that's the bin folder there are two main files that is mongod which will start the server and the mongo which will start the application so mongod and mongo okay these are the two main applications this basically starts the server and this is going to start the application and that's the folder okay we are going to get concerned with this folder later on okay this is the folder and uh, it's very important to understand this location okay now to start the mongodb what we need to do is you know i just copied that path that was c colon slash program file slash mongodb slash server 4.4 slash bin and then we have to go to the command prompt okay so that's the command prompt and i have just you know changed the properties of the command prompt i have just increased the size going by give a right click at the top go to properties and uh, go to fonts take is 36 and then for colors i went for the background color that is the gray and for the screen text i went for black and that's how i got this okay now what we need to do is we need to go to that particular folder so i will say cd space and then i pasted that fold uh, the path which i had just copied and then i will say enter now we are in exactly the same path that is c colon slash program file slash mongodb slash server 4.4 slash bin and if you can uh, remember i told you there are two main applications that is mongod and mongo okay so mongod is basically to start the server so let us start the server that is mongod and this is going to start the server and uh, basically everything goes fine so there was okay let us just let me just minimize the font size so that we can you know properly read it i'll make it as 20 okay and now okay mongo d and uh, this uh, should start the server now okay so if it doesn't start then what we need to do is you need to go to c colon and under c colon just create a folder just go to c colon create a folder that is data okay under the c colon there is a folder called as data then go to data that is inside data and create another folder that is db okay so we created data under data we created db and now i'm going to give one more time the same command that is i'm going to say mongo d okay and uh, this time you will see that the server has started basically and how i can say that the server has started you can see that the the cursor is still blinking and we do not have a shell like what we had before it did not uh, it, it, it did not come back to the shell okay like what happened before so once you have such a situation that the cursor is blinking and you do not see anything which means that the server has started okay so to overcome that problem what i did is i went to c colon okay again i repeat i went to c colon 
I'll show you. And I created a folder that was the data folder. Under the data folder, there is a one more folder that is DB. And this is something that you created, that we created, okay? So data folder, inside the data folder, create one more folder, folder that is DB, and that's it. And then you run that command and it is going to run. Now, after this happens, this cursor is blinking out here, and now we'll just increase that size so that you can see the see it and make it 36 okay so now that the server has started what you need to do next is again do not close this okay just don't do anything with this do not do anything with this just go to again a cmd command that's the command prompt and open one more command prompt okay and i don't know why it did not to place the effect that is 36 okay and then again go to the same folder that is cd space and the folder that was c colon slash program file slash mongodb slash server the same folder and then come to the folder and this time just type mongo that's it and press enter the moment you press enter that is the shell mode and now your application has started okay now just to you know show you how the application works like it is uh, pretty simple just a small introduction and uh, that is you can type the command like show db okay and it is going to show by default whatever is there in the database so now if you have to create your database okay what you have to do is you have to use the command that is use okay and name of your database and the name of my database i'm going to give like sun b and that's it okay and it will give you the command that is switched to db sunbeam and then what we need to do is once we create the database then normally we create tables but over here we do not create any tables but we are going to create collections now collections are something like you know similar to table you can say that but it is totally different please understand it okay so how you're going to create a collection is you're going to say db dot and you're going to say that is uh, db dot and uh, then you can give some name to your the collection and if i say student something like student okay dot and insert so basically i'm going to insert some data now you can see that we have not created any table we are straight away creating a collection and these collections are going to have documents now documents means like you can say the actual data that is going to be present in the collection okay so documents if you really want to associate that with the traditional database management system so you can say that these documents are like the records okay so i will say something like id colon and one now what does this mean is that id is going to be the field and one is going to be the value and if you can really see this something looks like or very much looks like the dictionary so in mongodb we are going to have the data in form of a pair that is a key and a value okay always remember that so always we are going to have a key and a value okay then i can give something like comma then i give name colon and a j and then press enter okay the moment i press enter you can see that it has given the right result and inserted one which means that one document has been successfully inserted now if you really see that show dbs and it is going to show your database out here that is sun b and if you really want to see your collections i mean uh, if you really want to see the uh, documents so how you're going to see the documents is you're going to say db dot and the name of my collection was student and find and that's it okay and uh, that is going to show you the 
collections that is uh, i mean the documents okay so you can see i have just created one document that is id is one and name is a j so that is the one you know the document that i created you can create another document by using the same command and uh, please understand there is always a id which is auto generated which is associated with the document okay so that is all about today children please go ahead and install your mongodb and uh, hopefully everybody has a windows 10 because if it is windows 10 then there won't be any problem as such so please go ahead and do the installation and then slowly i am going to we are going to go through the chapter what exactly is mongodb and how it works okay so that's it for today bye for now